Mushoku Tensei season 2 is starting. Where do we leave off? I think Eris did a one night stand and told Rudy, your stroke game is so weak. I'm just out with Jelaine. Technically, that's not what actually happened. She gave her like, a lock of her, her hair. And then and then I think her goal is to get stronger because the matchup with Orsted, that was a reality check. I'm not sure what kind of training is going to get to Orsted level, but hey, she can try. Ruizier also fucked up with the statues. Everybody's left him. Dead end is truly a dead end. Our boy is just walking around emo, just depression mode. This is where Sylphie should come and clutch though, right? With their new glasses. And in the trailer, there seems to be a new party. There's some blonde girl that maybe Rudy's gonna get with. Well, let's begin today's reaction. Oh, this is after Mana Disaster. Oh, okay, okay, because Sylphie just got... That's what happens to people after Mana Disaster. I thought they just get teleported somewhere, but she's just getting yeeted. Second princess, not next in line. Ooh, elder... Okay. She's basically fourth in line then. <laughs> yeah, if I was in a position, it's like, why bother fucking trying to climb this, you know, hierarchy when there's only three other people in line? I just chill too. That guy noticed that Sophie's falling? Yo, if she lands like this, she's just gonna die. So, like, what happens? Someone catches her? Or magic. I don't know if that's a safe landing. But Sophie's like extremely talented with magic too, right? Huh? What? What the? Okay, two different things happening at once. It's a boar attacking. Maybe so. Her hair's turning. Why though? I thought she like intentionally dyed her hair so that other people wouldn't assume that she's a spared at school. But it's turning while she's falling. This is how she lands! This saves the princess! Yo, what a fucking intro. But why did her hair change while she was falling? Was that from like some kind of crazy stress? Well, it worked! I think the boar is dead. Hey, we saved the princess. Now you guys owe us a favor. Jesus. Imagine if she landed on one of the guys and did this. Is Luke or... Derek dead? Wonder where we are. Cause I, I assume that she was just like left alone in, at hometown and just went to the school by herself. Punish for trespassing this Bro, we saved your ass! But Oh, that's where she gets her new glasses from. Oh Yo, these shades are wicked though. Look at them. New face and new name. Instead of Sylphie, what should she name herself? She should name herself Eris. <laughs> New fit. Damn, look at them shades. <laughs> They're so wicked. Fits. Okay, I guess Derek is dead. Jeez, that boar really just killed him. Damn. It was just a peaceful tea party. And the boar just shows up and kills the bodyguard? Like, the fuck? This is so bougie. I mean, yeah, we are in, like right into royalty, but damn. You know what this reminds me of, kind of? The grandfather's execution. And Sophie was there, if you look at the post credit scene. Cause there was a bunch of nobles like atop, and then the grandfather was brought in. Conspiring what? I don't like them immediately, judging their, by their tone. Noble sister, gotcha, brother. Lawful concubine. So like, even her like... So they don't share the same mom, but same dad? Is that right? He's really good at acting diplomatic, because he's kind of being pretty aggressive. Nah, we're good. Fuck off. I don't like that guy at all. Look at this shit, just reducing herself to like, you're only good for singing? Nah, fuck him up. I wonder if he's a second prince though. Because maybe he's got such a insecurity because there's obviously the first prince too, but it could be the first prince. So Sophie kind of just like changed gender. Like she's like acting as a guy now. Those shades, man. <laughs> I love these shades. Oh my god. Oh my. See, these royals are such trash. Ugh. Sylphie, we should kill them all. Use your magic. Oh, that's why she's getting dizzy. 
I thought that she was tired, but like overhearing too much like makes her tired. What dainty hands do you have? <laughs> no hands fit for a man. Are you a girl? <laughs> it is creepy. Get the fuck off me. Uh oh oh oh. You can't be doing. It feels like a super important person, and it feels like not nice. Oh shit. Is this gonna be okay? Oh, she's singing. Oh, did she just start singing to save Sylphie? Maybe? <laughs> I wonder if he really thinks that way. I don't know. There's some tension back and forth, but... Kingdom of Asura. Geographically, I've forgotten a lot of the things, like the different regions, the kingdoms. What is he so upset about? Maybe like because like the people love her more than him? What is her plan? What are we getting all these different factions for? So I, I thought you said in the beginning she said that I don't mind. There's already three other people, you know, two older brothers and a sister that's already next in line. I'll just enjoy my little tea party, but no, there's actually some conspiracy going on, like conspiring going on. If we have the popularity, then can we use that to somehow sway the people to overthrow the current ruler? I, I don't know. Oh, oh what? what? Your chamber's at nighttime? Oh, can we sleep in your same bed? <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> My degenerate brain just immediately goes towards the. <laughs> Luke, right? What a wingman. Let's go. Let's sleep with the princess chamber. Lack political influence. He's trying to gather the trust of the masses that are mostly just like peasants. Oh, the fuck is this? Some extra service at a theater play? You can just get girls to <laughs> chill here? Yo, what can you should you be talking about really classify stuff like this in front of her? What if she's also an agent from Ariel? Are, are you sure you should be just casually talking about some important shit? Is a coup actually gonna happen? Yo, that would be pretty hype. Starting the season off with like an entire revolt. You're gonna try to assassinate her then. Let's plan ahead. Let's not even let it happen. Princess's chambers? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> She wearing some dainty little nighttime pajamas? Yes, ma'am. No glasses though. We can't wear shades in here. No. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're gonna get some Yuri fan service. Aroused? How so? Go on. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. That I'm what? That I'm a girl? I roll that way. <laughs> Yo! How? What you gonna do? Hmm? Oh, you're just teasing. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Man, I actually thought we we're gonna get some Yuri shit going on, but all right, fine. Get me all hot and bother for nothing. Boring. Lame. Sophie, make a move. I I did. I totally thought it was gonna happen. <laughs> Fuck. All right, fine. All right, fine. Maybe, maybe in the future we can. I don't know. The boar. Yo. Rip in peace, Derek. Derek was chilling, then a boar just showed up. Derek died only so that Sophie can replace him and have a cool intro. <laughs> Derek didn't do anything wrong. What the fuck? Hmm. This is a really interesting bond, though. Sophie's already such good friends with the princess. And even though she might not be politically the most strongest here, she is still a princess that's rallying up support everywhere. And like, Getting connections like this networking is so critical for the future. I'm not sure exactly why, but even Rudy, like, um, 
gaining the favor of Zanoba, for example, other royalty, that's like pretty important shit to set up for the future, right? Your hair. What's up with your hair? Why did it change? I think she likes it though. No, not oh, here comes the nightmares. No, never mind. She's a oh, little hand holding. Hey, that's a little lewd. You gotta censor that. Oh, isn't this cute? Oh, hey, who's holy? Sh that's one of the girls from Darius, right? That was the kid that was. It feels weird saying kid because it looks so petite, but that was one of the girls that was like, um, on Darius's lap. So I guess not an agent. Damn, I thought. You really just kind of just assassinate the princess? Yo, Sophie's wind magic, though. Oh! No, 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 that someone thing got hit. Luke, you outside? Hello? Anybody? Huh? I didn't really see what happened, but looks like Sophie got a wind magic off. Damn, damn. Jesus. <laughs> I know she's talented, but damn. <laughs> Pretty view. I mean, we almost just died, but like... <laughs> You were too late, motherfucker! <laughs> did Sophie suffer any damage? Because, like, maybe it was poison, but she did get, like, a little scratch in the back, right? When that girl threw it. Abroad. Studies. So then we go to school on top of the mountains. Oh! The princess and Sophie goes together to the magic school. We'll put the political shit here on hold and go to school and then come back with more power later. <laughs> Six shades. Uh. No! But, but instead, you come with me to school, right? It's fine. I thought we're friends. You can't just do this now. We slept in the same bed and hold hands! No! We gotta go together! Oh. 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 Give her a little hug. Give me those shades back. They're sick. <laughs> the shades are... They're pretty cool. Asura Kingdom's next sovereign. But that's gonna have to wait for a bit. We go to school, we power up, gain more powerful connections. This is a really important plot point that's going to be set up for a long time in the future, right? It can't just, like, happen immediately. And, like, if Rudy also comes into play, that'll be another powerful recruit. And then together we, what, rise up and become the next sovereign of Asura? And then what? What is the point of that, though? I don't know how this all, like, connects. Oh, shit, this is episode zero, meaning, like, this is, like, the prologue episode. Technically true, because we're still back in the past. Nice to see how Sophie landed here and then made a new friend, the princess. Now we're going to go to school. It's kind of starting to make all sense. Might have been a little bit of a boring episode because, like, there's a lot of dialogue, a lot of politics, and a lot of people watching this show might not be here for the politics. They're here for, like, the hype moments, like, when Orsted shows up and there's, like, an epic fight. Hey, I think Mushoku Tensei's strength is the deep world building and the character developments that happens. And the important shit, like, that gets set up, it makes the payoff so much better in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed. But, hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.